Darla? What are you doing here? Oh, I stopped by. Don't your neighbors mind? Do you out here on the porch and all? Noise pollution or something like that? Never had any complaints. Well, you're scaring the children. What children? I am not. Well, then you're being crazy. Stop that. Stop that! Hey, give that back! No way. What do you want? Is that any way to say hello? Darla, darling, my very favorite family member here in the flesh. What do you want? What? I can't just drop in? Never have before. I came here to tell you something. Well, what is it? Uh, Charlie's not doing so well. Charlie? Yeah. Sorry to find out like this. Remind me, who is Charlie again? You know Charlie? Mom's cat? Ever since she died, Charlie's been getting worse and worse. He barely even eats anything anymore. He's just screaming like the rest of us. He's a cat. What? Cats don't have feelings? Dark. Mom died four years ago. Don't cats, you know, get old at some point? I think this is a very natural thing that's happening. I didn't think you were overly fond of cats in the first place. I'm not. But it's sad, I guess. He was with her for so long, and now even this piece of her life is fading. Well, what do you want me to do about it? Nothing. I just thought you should know. Wanted to brighten up my day, huh? Well, no. But wanted to stop you from playing your god-awful accordion for ten minutes. What's so awful about it? Am I that terrible? No. The instrument itself. Couldn't you have taken up the piano or the harp or something? How am I going to run away and join the circus playing the harp? Is that what this is about? It's been a lifelong dream. We're too old for dreams. Well, what kind of way is that to live? I just mean you're not being practical, Jack, that's all. I've been practical my whole life. That's the problem, Darla. No, I want to do something for me. Fine. Here. Do what you want. I need to be the one to squash your dreams. That's right. Don't be a dream squasher, sis. We're not that old, you know. I feel old. Darla. 32 is not that old. 32, divorced and taking care of my my dead mother's dying cat, feels old. I see your point. It's my wedding anniversary. Dar. But I'm not married anymore, so instead I decided to visit my little brother. You need some beer. I need some whiskey. Whiskey? I'm on it. Wait. Just hang out with me, okay? I don't want to be alone. I'm just going into the kitchen. I'll be right back. Great. Yeah. Of course. Just come back, okay? Here. Hold this as ransom. If I don't come back for you, no, I will come back for my baby. Your baby? Right. At least the accordion doesn't poop. <laughs> you can play her if you want. Like I would do that. No, really. It's fun. You want ice? Please. She needs a name. Accordion? Yeah. Here's your whiskey. Thanks. What about Bozo? You want me to name my most precious baby Bozo? Yeah. Like the clown? It's all circusy. It has to be a girl's name. What? Bozo can't be a girl's name? I am not naming her that. Fine. I was just trying to help. Do you ever feel stuck? Stuck how? You know, made immobile by all the pressures of society pushing down or, or squeezing until you absolutely cannot move. That kind of stuff. Nope, not once. That's why I learned how to play this accordion. And I'm planning my escape from the circus as we speak. I'm serious. Well, I certainly am too. Look, Dar, we all feel stuck sometimes. But it's up to you what you do about it. The way I see it, you have a choice to you either find a way to get yourself unstuck, or you stay stuck. Settle. I don't want to settle. Well then, unstickification, here we go. That's the problem though, I don't know how to unstickify. Look, it doesn't have to be something huge. My choice is pretty small, and musical. But I feel... new. Do you? I do indeed. You should really try her out. Here, I'll help you. One hand goes here, and one goes there, and then you gently pull, like this, see? 
if you push the buttons, you can make chords and stuff. Your expertise is shocking. Just try it. Yep, just like that. And if you keep practicing, you'll eventually start to not suck. Hey! <laughs> well, it doesn't have to be this. Find out what you want to do. How about Matilda? You want to do Matilda? Oh, dork, her name. Matilda the Accordion. Well, it's better than Mozart. So you like it? Yeah, Matilda. It'll do. You're not really leaving, right? What do you mean? Joining the circus. You're not really going to do it. I might. No, really. Wouldn't your wife mind? Your kid? I'd take him with. It could be fun. You could come too. Yeah, because secretly I've always wanted to be a clown. That or a bearded lady. I knew. See? Back your bags. We're going to find the first big tent we see and join them like there's no tomorrow. But there is a tomorrow. That's why it's a simile, silly. No, no. The circus is your thing. I want something else. What do you want? I don't know. Well, that's bad. It is, but maybe that's okay. I always knew what I wanted, what I thought I wanted. I wanted to be married, to have a kid, to not have any pets, to have a great career. But here I am, and none of those things have worked out the way I thought I wanted. But I'm still here. And maybe that's enough by itself. I don't know what I want. I don't I know what I thought I wanted, and maybe they can help me find something new to want. Well put. Here, Juno. The stage to Marco should have been the happiest day of my life. At least, according to fairy tales and make-believe time, it should have been. But now, it's what? Not nothing. It still feels significant, but not how it was supposed to be. This will get easier, right? I mean, maybe it's because it's the first that it feels so bad? It seemed to work with Bob. Yeah. I mean, it won't go away, but it'll hurt us. I don't miss him. I miss the idea of him, but not the man himself. Sounds reasonable. Anyway, thanks for letting me bother you tonight. Hey, what are siblings for? Consider this part of your sacred duty as an older sister to bother me whenever you feel it necessary. And, you know, to drink my booze. In that case, you're welcome. Well, happy not-anniversary. I feel like we should have fireworks or something. He's not worth fireworks. But you are, dearie. Thanks. I think it's time for Matilda and I to be reunited. Come here, my precious. Remind me why I'm the one who's divorced? Shush. It's Matilda's turn to speak. I'm invoking my sisterly right to your rooms. Sure thing, sure thing, sis. Do what you want. 